I believe, since I've done something like this. And that is a collection video, but in particular, in particular, it is a shoe collection. A shoe collection, collection, shoe collection. What are we showing you my shoe collection? <laughs> now, as I mentioned, we have done this before. I think the last time I did a shoe collection video was August of 2019, so it's been a couple, a couple, a couple, a couple of years since the last time I have done one. And as you guys may have noticed in my videos, sometimes I put some of my shoes in the background, like up here, or maybe down there. And I get a lot of comments, especially on live streams, of people saying, those are such cool shoes, are you a shoe collector? And the simple answer is no, I'm not really like an avid shoe collector, but I do like to have, you know, a good range of shoes as everybody does. Everybody, buddy, 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 buddy. And so in tonight's video, I am going to be showing you not my entire shoe collection, but just some of my favorite shoes that I wear out commonly, 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 commonly. So I really hope, I really hope you guys do enjoy. And if you do, be sure to drop a big thumbs up on tonight's video. And if you guys are new to the channel and you're not already subscribed, how's it going? My name's Dido. We post all sorts of ASMR content here to help you guys relax and fall asleep, sleep, sleep, sleep. So if you do enjoy tonight's video, then why not subscribe, become part of this amazing community. And uh, yeah, I think without further ado, let's just get into the collection, shall we? So where to start? Well, I think the best place to start would be with a brand new pair of shoes that I actually got the other day. I bought these brand new... Adidas shoes, Adidas, 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 Adidas. Now, as you will see throughout tonight's video, I'm a pretty big fan of Adidas and Nike shoes. And um, this is a new pair of shoes that I actually got for a bit of a steal um, from JD Sports. And these are, and I've not actually opened them yet. Well, I have, but I've not worn them out, so. These are my brand new. If the box stays open. Sure, maybe just out with um, maybe cargo drought. 
trousers or cargo pants if you're American or maybe just in shorts to be honest you know summer is coming I think they could be quite good to wear out with my friends so that is my brand new shoes let's move on to the next one which is um one you can see in the background and this is the Nike Air Max 200 now I've actually never been like a huge fan of Nike shoes but when I saw these I thought they looked quite different you know they're a bit funky with the uh, wavy black pattern that you can see um, of course we have the air bubble So reflective on um, like these parts here these bits are reflective which is really cool I was at mini golf once and um, it was quite dark and translucent in there with the lights and um, it was like shining off them and I didn't realize they were uh, reflective until that day oh and random thing to point out I have a size UK9, if anyone's curious. So that is the Nike Air Max 200s. These are some of my favorite ones that I own, I think. So yeah. Next shoe, what shall we go with next? Shall we go with some of my basketball shoes? For those that don't know, I play a lot of basketball with my friends. And so I like to uh, have a couple pairs of basketball shoes. Now these ones I think I actually, when I did my first shoe collection back in 2019, I had just got these. And these are the Adidas Dame Fives, obviously made by the man himself, Damien Lillard. Portland Trailblazers. Well, currently at the Trailblazers. It's not looking good though. And I think these are some of my favorite basketball shoes I've ever, I've ever owned. I love the kind of color mix with the dark blue, the red, the white, and almost kind of purple, you know. You know the Damien Lillard logo, if my camera focuses there you go and on the is it the tongue I can't remember the tongue um, but these are super super comfy and they have good ankle support as well I've got pretty weak ankles um, had a few ankle injuries in the past and these have helped prevent them <laughs> now I am looking to get new basketball shoes soon. Not too sure what I'm gonna go for next though. But I usually just keep these for indoor basketball shoes. Original Swift Run 2.0. I 
quite like my shoes to have the, the white trim at the bottom. Um, I think they do look very nice and complement the shoe very well. Um, the brand with the three stripes. I like this little um, black pattern here as well. As you can see, the bottoms are pretty dirty because <laughs> I wear them out on runs, obviously. What do you guys think? Would you wear these out? Let me know in the comments out of all the shoes I've, I've shown you. Which are your favourites? Cyan, cyan blue, if that makes sense. 
make sense. But they are good. They are good. I'm a huge fan of these. But I always have to wear them out with um, thick socks. Because even though I've worn them a lot, the backs still really hurt my ankles. Everyone suffers with uh, ankle guts and things with new new vans. We won't get into it though. It says are ultra kush. I don't even know. Are you guys big fans? Fans. That's weird to say. Fans, fans. My brother absolutely loves them and he has about, gosh, literally like 10 bears. Look, I need a pair of outdoor basketball 
snowshoes if you see any let me know and she was at the nike store one day and she faced down to me and said i've found these Kyrie basketball shoes and they're on offer do you want to see them and she showed me them and they were these they are the nike Kyrie fly trap dues and it's a bit of a funny story actually because because she showed me them and i think the initial price of the shoe was like 90 or, or 87 pounds which is great british pounds which i think is like like 110 us dollars i think i don't know and they were on the wall that was 50 percent off so i think they were already discounted to like 60 though i think they were down to 60 and because they were 50 percent off we got them for 30 but then we got another like student discount they got like another uh, percentage off or something and i ended up getting these shoes for about 25 pounds i can't remember the exact price but or 27 pounds i think because it was 10 percent off so 10 percent off 30 is three yeah 27 pounds but to get some Kyrie's. Kyrie Fly Trap 2.0 for £27 when the initial price is what? £90 it's pretty good I'm pretty happy with that and they've made really good outdoor basketball shoes maybe I should do a basketball video where I play some basketball with my friends let me know what you think. So yeah, that's them. I've got two more shoes left to show you guys. And I will just quickly say the last two pairs of shoes I actually showed in my last shoe collection video. So you might recognize them. But they are still some of my favorites, which is why... I still have them to this very day. So I won't show both of these all too long. But the first pair is the Adidas Jupiler Shadows. These are quite cool because they're like grey on one side and it's kind of like grey with speckles of black. And on the other side it's white. And they're sort of interconnected like that. It's quite cool. Granted, these are quite old, so they're a bit dirty. A bit dirty, dirty. But I do still wear these a lot. Because they're some expensive shoes as well, I think. My friends got me these for my 18th birthday. I'm now... Oh no, it was my 17th birthday, yeah. That's how long I've had these for. I'm now 20, nearly 21. So a long time ago. And they're very nice. But I do think that my brand new... My brand new Adidas one that I showed at the start are kind of going to replace these. You can see they're kind of, in a way, kind of similar. So I think these might replace these, if, if you get me. And the last shoe I have is my one of my old running shoes. And I only actually wear these to the gym at first. But I started to wear them out on runs until I got my new ones. And these are the Nike Nike, 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 Flex Contact, Flex Contact. And as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of the color dark blue, if you couldn't tell. And so that's...
that's why I have these. Um, I don't actually wear these too often anymore, to be honest. They're kind of just sat there on my shelf. Just not doing much, but that is the Nike Flex Contact. So yeah, that is where I am going to wrap up today's video. I really hope you all did enjoy, and um, let me know what you think of my shoe collection. Let me know if you are a big uh, shoe collector, and if any of the shoes I have you like, or maybe you have yourself. I'll pop the timestamps on the screen as well to remind you what all the names are. But uh, yeah, feel free to let me know in the comments if you have any shoes you think I might like. Maybe I could get them to a little bit of a shoe unboxing video. Who knows? And yeah, I appreciate you all watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to drop a big thumbs up on tonight's video. And I will see you all in the next video. Good night, guys.